Guys, my name is Bhushan. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In our previous video, we have discussed the web.xml configuration. So in this video, we will create a database and table for our application. So without wasting our time, let's flip to MySQL database. So I will use MySQL database throughout this series. You can use any other database you want. So let's create a database first. Create database, give a meaningful name to your database. Hit control enter. So, one row affected by the last command. So, now let's refresh your explorer and you will see your database. Now, let's get inside this database. Type use your database name. YouTube. Hit control enter. So, we will select the database. Now, inside this database, let's create our table. Create table. Give a meaningful name to your table. That is student. And let's create a columns. The first column, we will create ID. So, this ID column is a primary key. And we have to specify the data type. The ID is always an integer and it is a primary key and it is also a not null and it is an auto increment. The second column is name and which is a varchar which is of length 45 and it is also a not null. And the third column is email. It is also a word cap, which is of length 45, and it is also a not null. And the third, the fourth column is address, which is also a word cap, which is of length 45, and which is also a not null. And the fifth column is gender. Which is also a varchar, which is of length 45, and it should be a not null. And the fifth column, sixth column, hobbies, which is a varchar, which is of length 45, and which is of not null. And the last column is date of birth, which is of varchar, which is of length. 45 and which is a not null. Now let's execute this command. The query returned no result set. Let's refresh this database and you can see your table. So let's write a command select star from student. Right now we have no records in this table. We will insert the records from the UI. So that's all about this video. In our next video, we will configure the Spring and Hibernate. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in next video.